Hey all, Kyle here, AA0Z. Just wanted to do a quick video on my three rig install on my 2019 Toyota Tacoma, and I'm gonna show you how I did it here, so stick around. All right, I'm gonna start in the cab here, and here on the center console, I have my Kenwood TM D710G. I've got a Yesu 891. I've got my phone up here that is uh, attached to a vent. And then I also have my FT, um, this is uh, the Yesu FTM 400 XD with the uh, color touch panel. So let me show you where all of these antennas are at and how I mounted these. Okay, we're gonna start off with the FTM 400 first. So this is just a uh, windshield mount and it has this um, uh, compression fitting that I think you can probably find on the internet. I will put the links to all of the things that I'm using here in the description. So you can see where that connects to the faceplate of the FTM 400. The control wire comes around here, snakes underneath this part here, comes down. I had to pull this panel off, and then I had to pull this um, piece of plastic off. And whenever you pull this off, you can get access to the underside of the carpet. So the FTM 400 main body sits underneath my seat here and you can see the control wires coming out here. This is the microphone, this is the head unit. The head unit comes underneath this carpet cut that we made, comes underneath here, like I said, and then routes up to the windshield mount. The microphone is this short piece of uh, flat wire. I believe it is maybe a four or a six wire, and then gets connected to this uh, RJ45 female to female connector and then the microphone plugs directly into it and it resides beside the emergency brake here. This speaker is connected directly to the to the back of the FTM 400 and gives me a little bit more volume. All right, the FTM 400 has a hood mount antenna. This is the diamond NR73B, it's a two meter and 440. And this bracket is an NMO. Okay, I'm not really sure if you can see that, but this is a bracket made by Victory 4x4. If you go to Victory 4x4, uh, search that on Google, you can find uh, this bracket. You replace or you remove the uh, uh, the bolts here that hold the hood up with this, uh, the support springs and you insert this in line here and then you can see my uh, NMO mount and then this cable is, is a little kinked there and then the coax comes down here and then goes into a grommet on the passenger side. Okay, here we are on the passenger side and this grommet comes up underneath the, uh, or through the firewall on the passenger side. And then if you pull this carpet back, you can see that, you can almost see the coax here. We routed this coax underneath the carpet, back behind the console here. And here we are on the driver's side. The, the coax comes back underneath the carpet here. And then we pulled this panel out and routed the coax underneath this piece of plastic up underneath here and then that coax comes out right here and plugs into the back of the FTM 400. For the Kenwood TM710G that is mounted on a custom mount that I made and 3D printed. I will put the uh, STL files from Thingiverse in the description and let me show you this is a connector ball from RAM 
And then this underneath here is a cup holder mount that I purchased and all of this fits, you can see the back end, all that fits on a one inch ball. And then I put a terry cloth in my cup holder because it just wasn't setting firm. So I gave it some extra um, resistance there. So all of the control cables, the control cable for the Kenwood comes in here and the control cable for the Yesu 891 snaps into the back. This control cable for the two head units here gets routed underneath this, this center console, comes underneath the seat and gets routed in this wire loom underneath the carpet, underneath this plastic part, all the way to the back, back behind the driver's seat is where all of the uh, main units set. So this is the main unit to the Kenwood and then my Yesu 891 main unit sets here. I have brought power from the battery with this large 60 amp Anderson power pole and I will show you how that's routed here but that just tucks back here I made a bracket out of plywood that's in the shape of an L and it sits down in this compartment the power comes into this uh, device here that shuts off power um, after 15 minutes to the device if I or to my radios if I leave them on this will um, count down for 15 minutes and shut all the power off or if the power gets below I believe um, it's 12 volts on my uh, my main battery it will shut off the the power and it automatically comes on once the engine turns on so this is uh, uh, a unit that uh, ND9E Scott gave me so thanks Scott and then I've just got a mini uh, distribution block in here uh, power pole block that uh, powers all the radios I color coded the cables here so I would know which ones went to the front so you've got power coming in, you've got red for the control cable on the Kenwood, and, and blue here is the microphone cable. Green is the microphone cable for the uh, Yesu, and then the control cable for the head unit is this uh, six pin flat cable that goes to the head unit and plugs into the uh, the base of the Yesu. All of the control cable comes in, I drilled a hole on the bottom side of this uh, compartment here and all of the control cables come in um, and they're different colors. I will put a description in the video on where I got these small Cat6 cables and they work great for uh, radios that use the uh, RJ45 standard. So this is where the control cables come in, they're wire loomed together, and then this is where they go underneath the carpet, we slit the carpet, they come underneath the carpet here, come down here, go into this channel, and then up to the front seat here, underneath the carpet, and then Here's the wire loom that comes and brings all of those control cables up to the head unit. The sound for the Kenwood 2 meter and 440 comes out of this speaker, which is on the bottom. And it's loud enough if I turn it up all the way, but the future state is to put some type of speaker system that's pointing out uh, towards my head so I can hear this a little bit better. Same thing with the, the Yesu 891. I'm gonna have an external speaker like at the front that projects the sound uh, towards uh, the driver's side. The microphone for the Kenwood uh, D710 just uh, connects directly up to the Cat6 cable right into the microphone. The 891 mic plugs into the screen cable and then has this adapter and the, uh, the microphone plugs directly into this RJ45 connection and then the microphone just sets up here with the rest of the microphones uh, to the system. All right, for these two units, the coax, uh, I don't have one terminated here, but the coax comes uh, out of these units 
and then gets routed through another hole that I drilled. And here are those two coaxes coming through the carpet. They come underneath here, and then there is a grommet underneath the carpet here that we poked through, which is underneath the, the truck. All right, after the coax gets pushed through a grommet and then routed underneath the truck in this wire loom, I split the coax off. One goes to this side, and one goes to this side. And you can see where the wire loom comes up, the coax comes around, I've zip tied this, and then this truck bed mount is made by Ragu Fabrication. I'll put a link in the description. And this gets an NMO mount, and I put some marine grade uh, heat shrink on it, and then a drip loop here. And this is where the Kenwood radio two meter goes and this is a diamond NR770 HNMOB and I can put that there and screw that in and I've got a grounding strap that comes down and grounds it here to the uh, the bed and this is a no radial antenna because there's no metal underneath here to uh, act as a ground plane so it really needs um, a no radial 2 meter 440 antenna to work properly uh, to get the SWR down underneath uh, 2 to 1. You can buy one of these NMO to quarter 20 converters. If I can do this one handed here. And you can get a buddy, buddy pole stick, I'm sorry, a uh, ham stick, and screw that in. And there you go with a ham stick solution. And then on this side, I did have one, but I removed it. You can see that I've got the, the coax wrapped around here. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this coax yet and how I'm going to mount it, but they, uh, I think, Ragu or uh, Victory 4x4 does make a, a plate that goes here and you can put another NMO mount. Uh, I just haven't gotten to this part of the, uh, the install yet. So let's talk power. So I've got this distribution box and I've got this uh, shutoff and the shutoff feeds the distribution, the Anderson power pole distribution. This gets plugged into the 60 amp Anderson power pole and then this this large cable gets routed underneath the carpet underneath this plastic there's a lot of stuff going through this plastic part power goes underneath here and then goes through the firewall so the power comes through this grommet that was already made and goes through the driver's side firewall there so you can see the power in this in this loom. Power comes up and here's the power cable with the fuse. I've tied it directly to the battery and then the negative goes straight to the chassis which then comes to the negative on the battery. So this is my three radio setup here in my truck. Hope you found uh, some information that you could use. Maybe uh, you don't have a Tacoma, but you could probably uh, find something useful out of this uh, out of this install. I don't normally run three radios. I only run my FTM 400 as my main radio. If I take long trips, I will take the Kenwood uh, D710 and run APRS and monitor 5.2 on it. The uh, Yesu 891, I'm still messing around with it. I noticed uh, after I installed it, the control cable, uh, it turns the unit on and I can run through the VFO, but I cannot turn the unit off. So word to the wise, always check your control cables before you run them, just to make sure that all of the functions uh, work for the head units. Uh, I used a cable that I made, so I made it long enough. I'm gonna have to go back to Yesu and actually buy their uh, stock control cable and install that because I can't use the radio if I can't turn it off. 
If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and uh, give a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, 73, thank you.